All right, hole four, shade over 300 yards, the teeth of the wind, it's right in us right here. It's going 25 miles an hour. I'm gonna tee it down, hit a little driver. I'm not gonna try to kill it. I'm trying to stay smooth through it. Tendencies to try to hit it too hard, but I'm gonna stay smooth with it. All right, you got it, bud. Keep playing well. Good swing, bud. Good swing. Thank you. All right, just gotta do the same. I gotta get that alignment down. All right, just follow that one. Hopefully, I'm get up. All right, a good swing on it. A little more left. There you go. All right, put a little draw on it, but I tell you what, that's safe. That's that's in a good area there. Yeah. I, I actually like that a lot. That's that's the side to miss it just a little bit on. We got plenty of green to work with it. Good swing, man. Yeah, it worked out better than my last drive. <laughs> All right, worked out well. Mine's right there. Neil is right there in the fairway. He might have to move his because of that drainage right there. You might be standing in that bug. So that's a man-made, not even a hazard, man-made obstruction. I don't know the technical rule on it. I imagine Neil does. It's gonna be casual water. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's definitely got some rain out here. You can see some drainage areas there. So Neil's got that shot in. <clears throat> Flag is right there. Got a decent amount of green to work with. There's a slight slope going uh from front to back, a little ridge there that the pins. So I think Neil's gonna put this one nice and close. Oh, that's a good shot, bud. Thanks. Zoom in there for you to see. It's hard to tell how far, maybe, maybe 10, 12 feet, but that wind really knocked it down there. So, see if I can get inside of Neil here. All right, he's got about 45 yards here, man. He's really good at these shots. He's gonna land at about, uh, almost where my ball is on the green. It's gonna release right to the hole. He's, he's good at these shots. Oh, that's, oh, it jumped a little bit. A little long, but I'll tell you what, that was good contact. That's the thing about being in the rough, you never know. Yeah, but that's kind of like my shot two holes before. See Neil right here. A little bit farther away than what he wanted, probably what, 15? Yeah, the wind really knocked it down. I hit the yeah. shot. It just didn't come out. Still got an uphill. I wanted to be uphill, which I did. These greens are fast, so I'd like to be a little closer, but I'll take that. All right, let's see this. It went and just flew on him a little bit out of that rough. He didn't hit a bad shot. It's just, let's see what he's got here. He's usually a pretty good chipper. Just get this on the green and let it. It's going to break right to left pretty good from where he's standing. Oh, this wind's really blowing. About blew me down. All right. What a nice looking shot. Good shot. Especially with that wind blowing. I thought that would turn a little even more. He's complaining about that, but that was really well done. It is, it is howling, folks. For for Florida people, we're not we're not used to this kind of stuff. I'm having to play the wind on these pots. Nice par, Thanks. bud. I know, I know. Right. I know, bud. I'll take that. It's a good roll, that's all you can do. All right, he's got that, I don't know, like three and a half, four feet here. He's marking it with his Michigan Wolverine ball marker. Hey, 
won yesterday, so it's okay. Or I'm sorry, on Saturday. Yep. Great putt. I should have gave that to him. I just wanted to feel no, good about I himself. To it. I need to putt it. So that makes me plus one and Neil's still even. Playing well. See you in the next hole. Hole number five, uh, part five. Wind is crosswind hurting us. Probably playing around 525 today. I'm just going to hit it right down the middle. Not try to do anything too sporty. I just want to stay within myself and not try to hit it too hard. Yeah, you got it. You've been swinging the club well, man. Keep it going. Yeah, you'll be all right there. there. You see the first wire and the second wire, there's a large area in between those two, so he'll be fine over there. All right. Let's see what happens now. It's going right to left. I was trying to kind of hit a little cut and get it to go straight over, did it a little bit, but it's fine. Let's see what Kyle's got here. Swing, it sounded like good contact. It should be good, yeah. I think he's right down there. Yeah, I think I'm probably near you. So, all right. All right, good shot. Getting the yardage right now. Yeah, about 240 into the wind. 240 into the wind. I'll show you what he's looking at here. I mean, yeah, it's not the scariest shot in the world because that there's a lot of room in between the water and the and the um, I'm gonna the hit green. That, I'm gonna hit that flag. Maybe it's just a little bit left. There's plenty of room there to work with. So nothing Neil can't handle. I not absolutely oh laced it. That may be that, on. If he gets a good bounce, that's going to go on the green. That's right on the front. I don't have the best line. It's not terrible, but I think I'm just going to hit it over the water and just hit a wedge close. And get it's it's sitting way. down. He's doing the right thing. So yeah. he's, he's, he's got to play like this. It could roll out on him, but his line's not as good as mine was. Get a good shot there. Solid. You just take what you got. You gotta take what you got dealt there. That's wow, that's all you can do, man. That's a smart play. You try to do anything with a three or four iron, you're gonna hit in that water, anything yeah. bad stuff can happen. Good play. Alright, he's left about 80 yards, 75 yards. Wind's right in. He's got a little right. He's got the ball above his feet here. Let's see what he's got here. Wind's pulling pretty good. He's probably gonna flight it down to keep that wind from getting it. Yeah. So Well, he hit it right at it. So it came up just a little bit short there. Not too bad. But not too bad at all. He's about 15, 20 feet away there. All in all, very good shot. All right, let's go up to Neil. Neil hit a, a rocket of a three wood. Absolute great three wood. Coming off in his, I mean, he's got lots of green to work with here, and we already know it's going to run out a little bit. So yeah, it's going to run out a little bit. I'm going to play it, play this little bounce shot. I'm not going to hit the leading edge. I'm going to let it bounce until it come across a little bit. A little two hopper stopper trickle down there. Got hey, really good hands on this one. So you got it now.
There she is. Poppy. Good shot, good Thank shot. You. All right, let's go up there and see if we can make some putts. Definitely think I'm away after that great wedge shot there. Honestly, when I first hit mine, I thought mine was going to go long, but that wind really knocked it down. Really knocked it down. It's a beautiful backdrop out here. You can see how choppy the, the yeah, lake the is back here. Yeah, they almost could surf out there today or wakeboard. Uh, it's a beautiful day though. Tell you what, he's got area on the screen here. We're gonna, I'm gonna give him a free relief here. Come to the other side here. Kyle, just so you don't have to putt through that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it looks like a hydraulic leak here. something happened here. It's, I'm I just think it's the only place out here they got, but not bad, the greens are great. He's got about 30 feet up the hill. Uh, the grain is coming towards me, so it's. All right, the putt is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Great putt, man. Into this wind. We take that par. It's not bad. Every hole out here is very tough. Every shot is tough. Putting and everything. All right, I'm gonna try to sneak me a birdie in there. I thought it was a little closer than that, but still, still wasn't that's, bad. That's here. makeable. Yeah. And I got about 15, 12 feet. I did exactly what I wanted to. It just I should, I should have carried it a little bit further. Yeah, This didn't break much, so I kind of dictated a little bit what I did there, but oh Still, well, I'm, I'm rolling the ball good. Not a bad par. So what, what's the score after? Uh... <laughs> I'm even after five. Uh, Kyle's one over. We're cool. playing pretty good all in all after uh, this win. All right, see you guys in the next hole. Hole six here, we're about 429 yards, usually into the wind. Today we're lucky, we're out of the wind. We're going straight down wind. It's gonna play a lot shorter. So it's Luckily. Bombs away. Tee it high, let it flop. I hit it low and hard. <laughs> it's still really good. Yeah, it should be fine nice there, spot. honestly. I wouldn't hit it higher, but that's a good shot. I mean, that's, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Plus the fairways are just, even as wet as, for some reason they're they're rolling out pretty good, so. All right, it's a good drive. It's a nice hole. I'll just take advantage of it today with it being downwind. Yeah, it's usually not. It's usually in our face. Yep. It's one of the first times I've played this hole downwind. All right, make a good swing on it. All right, he beat that. That's down the right center. He's gonna light that. That's over that hill. That, that was his patented kill shot. Gave it the Thor move. I mean, that was beast mode. There we go, about 290. Yeah, he, he, he's modest, yeah. Good shot. Thank you. All right, Neil's uh, getting the distance now. What do you got, Neil? 170, pins back. Yeah, it must be yeah. back. I mean, I'm at the 150 mark. 150's right there. Um, well, I mean, it's downwind. downwind. I, honestly, bud, I really think it might be the nine because it's gonna release. Yeah. And you don't want to be long on this hole. Long, you've got a tough chip coming back with not a ton of green. I, I'd have to say it is a nine. You're, you're I right. mean, just just go with it. And if you're short, it's not the it's, end of the world. It's not going to be. Gets up in that chest, right? Yeah, and you fact, hit. This might be too much. <laughs> you hit uh, such a high ball anyway, so nice smooth swing. You got it.
Boy, hit that well. Just a little bit right out, right in the center of the green. Yep, Perfect that is. Pin high. So, you can see it right there. That's pin high. That was the wrench, man. Yep, that was the play. Okay, his lie here. He hit it in the rough. It's sitting down a little bit, but this is one I was just telling Kyle. Probably going to jump on him a little bit. It's downwind. It's going to squirt. Yeah, it's. Pitching wedge? Yeah, it's playing. You're going to be playing about 120. Really, that? I mean, it's. If it's 120 is less than that, you think? Well, I, I just said better short than long. Yeah, it's going to jump. Right. It's going to do a Phil Necro here, knuckleball. So, you got to play for or, it. Or Tim Wakefield. Or Tim Wakefield. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I'm a, I'm gonna, I'm a I'm long time Braves fan. Then, so. I don't want to hear about Tim Wake. I'm a Braves fan. I will right, feel Necro. Good, good, good point. Braves just won last night. We got a game today, so I'm excited about that. All right. Looks like that should do well. Come on. Not that short, though. I'm going to give you a line. How's that sound? Wow, okay, that's good. That came up good. Yeah, I hit it pretty well. Yeah, that was a good play. Oh, you can see uh, they're getting some work in there. That's the nice thing about Stoner Book West. They're always working on making things better. That's been a problem area, but you can see they're carving out a brand new bunker there. Good for them. That's nice to see them putting in. This is why Neil and I like coming out here because great service, great people. All right, you can see uh, Neil's shot and then my shot. A little bit short, maybe a different club, but but still, I'd rather be there than on the hill and trying to chip down. So, all right, I'm gonna hand you off to Neil because definitely I'm away. Positive for me is I get to see the line and the speed. So, guess you wouldn't leave that flag in. It's like about 80 feet here. Nothing I can't handle, right? I'm going to walk over here and mark my ball. <laughs> He's looking it over here. Downhill. See there, he has hit a great putt about three and a half feet from 80 feet. Job well done. I'll take that from uh, back there. Great speed. All right. Actually, kind of wanted to go a little right on you, didn't it? It did. It did towards the end. It did definitely did. Let me get up there and mark that real quick. Yeah, it, it, it definitely wanted to go the other way. Put a good old Michigan Wolverines ball marker on that. Go blue. All right, let's put it in. Oh, that's leaking on him. Ah, still a little meat left on that bone. Mine went left. I had it going right. But again, the way Neil's been rolling the ball, this is almost a gimme. Positive mental attitude, folks. Neil is human, apparently. I didn't think he was.
Good putt. All right, uh, after six holes, I'm plus one. I think uh, Neil is plus one as well. And that's the end of part two, guys. We'll see you guys in part three.